Okay guys, so I'm going to be doing a video today on um, using resistive ballasts to run metal halide lamps like this one here. So you've got a 400 watt metal halide lamp. As you can see there's the, uh, the little capsule there, looks like a shark egg. And the arc fires between there and there with the igniter. And then to limit the current, because obviously that's like a, de a dead short then, you've got there 500 watts worth of ballast. You've got a 200 watt lamp there and a 300 watt there so we got 500 watts because they're wide in series and then in series with that and this one here supplies the uh, the high voltage just to ignite so that's the circuit uh, I've got it connected up to the safe block and the variac so I will be running it at mains voltage so I'll just take the variac all the way up and then I'll just switch them on via the on switch there and then we'll watch the current we've got the current meter on the variac output there and we've got the volts there of the uh, the variac output as well so obviously for these kind of experiments, you're going to be wanting to use safety glasses, okay? Because um, obviously you've got hot glasses and it's experimental, so you don't want things to be flying around if it all goes pear-shaped, you know? These do, whatever, for whatever reason, get very hot and decide to explode because they do explode. Usually when things impact on them, you know, like a bolt flying across a workshop and it happens to hit one of the lights and blows the glass. So you've got red hot glass flight floating around the, around the place pretty fast. So just in case, guys, safety glasses on for these kind of things. All right, so uh, I'm going to power up the Variac. All right, so I'll take up the voltage. Current's already there. So I'll, without switching it on, I'm going to take the voltage up to nominal voltage. There you go, at 240 volts. Close the safe block, safety first. And right, so what I'm going to do is turn the lights off, makes it a bit cooler. Uh, put the lights on these just in case you can't quite see properly. Makes it a little bit clearer. Right, okay. So I'm going to fire it up and we're going to look at the current. But I'll show you the lamps drying up first. So three, two, one. There you go, so that's ballasting them. We're running about 1.8 amps, and if we've got a battery low, that should still be 240 volts thereabouts. Okay, so that's gonna increasingly start to get brighter now. So I did prepare a welding mask glass here, so we can actually view the lamps and also the arc without being completely blinded. That makes it a bit better. It's a bit better for the camera as well. It has to be green guys, that's the only colours you get in these welding mask ones. I will have a proper filter one day, but I'll probably have to get a, pr a proper camera. But till then we'll use green, because I think it looks pretty cool anyway. So yeah, that's definitely getting brighter guys. You can see the art's getting a bit fatter in there. And we're running at about, still 1.8. When it gets up to temperature, you'll notice the uh, the lamps will actually get dimmer, and the arc lamp there will get a, uh, a brighter output to it. So yeah, that's getting there. Mm, drop, bolts just drop down a bit, we can increase that a bit. There you go. Speed things up because it is going. These, these, you usually supply a 400 watt ballast with these, what they call a 400 watt ballast, whether it actually runs 400 watts or not. I'm pretty sure it runs more than 400 watts. So I thought 500 watts worth of um, resistive ballasts here would probably just about do it. Probably if I put more, more watts worth of ballast in there would actually brighten up a bit faster but yeah it's starting to get there anyway that lamp's getting pretty intense you do not want to be staring at these for long durations of time without some sort of proper eye protection guys so if you've got a welding mask use it if you've got a, uh, a little glass these glasses you can get off ebay they're cheap as chips so you can actually just use these and just look for it just put it up to your face and just actually watch it that way it's a bit better for your eyes you obviously don't want to be staring at well, it's essentially like staring at the sun, so you don't want to be doing that, but yeah, it's a bit easier to see anyway. So yeah, it's getting a fatter arc there, you can see. And these are actually getting dimmer now, so if I come back a bit, and so there you go. You can see the uh, the blue light there from the metal halide is actually taking over from the, the um, what was it, tungsten filament lamps there. They're pretty old lamps, uh, they're probably like between probably the 70s and the 90s, those two lamps there. Pretty old, you don't get 300 watts anymore. 
certainly don't get that kind of wattage <laughs> and you don't get 200 watts anymore not easily anyway so yeah you can definitely see that's getting brighter you do actually get lamps like these that, um, that have an internal um, like a halogen lamp in the base of the lamp there or I think at the top I think a few people have got those already on YouTube if I come across one, I'll do a video of it. But they actually use an internal ballast of a, um, a halogen lamp inside there to actually internally ballast the arc lamp, which is pretty cool. But this is an external ballast system. Until I get one of those, it'll be um, this will be just an experimental thing. But if I do come across one of those, I will actually pick it up and do a video video on it. But yeah, that's working pretty good. Another another good reason to have these are. Uh, Probably can't see it. Other lamps you can. If you got a um a lamp and you want to see how many watts it is without having to turn it off, you can actually view the uh, the wattage on the lamp through a welding mask without actually turning it off. Say like you got a shop factory lights, so you don't want to turn them off, and you need to find out what wattage it is. It has been known I've gone up there with a welding mask and actually just look at the lamp as it's running, and you can see the watts on it. But that's with the um the pearl type lamps where you can actually see it on a white background. This isn't going to be quite as easy to see the watts because it's just too dark a background there. But yeah, that's certainly getting really bright now. I'll come back a bit to you guys and you can see that. The uh, male halide has certainly overtaken the other two tungsten filaments in brightness. And the current's gone down a bit. Yeah, current's gone to about 1.5 amps there. Still at nominal voltage, gone up a little bit now. Take that down. There you go. So yeah. That's about it, guys. Um, I might do another video showing uh, current limiting on these on the metal halide lamp using a um, probably a rheostat. If I can find out a rheostat, I was thinking of doing that instead of using these tungsten lamps, and then see if that can actually uh, do anything better. You know, you got a, you got an adjustment there on your um, amps as well as the adjustment of the volts. We can play around a bit, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I can come up with. We'll uh, power this down now. Crank it down. There you go. Switch it off. Open the safe lock. Carry it off. That's still on battery now. Turn them off. And obviously these are extremely hot, so you definitely want to leave these to cool down somewhere out the way. I usually put them over the back here, just out the way there, just out of people's reach. You know, if people are in and out of the workshop, just so you don't get anyone picking up these thinking they're bloody cold when they're bloody hot <laughs> but yeah anyway guys hope you've all enjoyed and uh i'll see you again pretty soon cheers bye there you go motorbike about computer 1976 motorbike magazine 25p <laughs> pretty cool